Suppose this is a plane of space-time without any obstructions. We give the ball an initial velocity. Then the object will keep moving forward. Now we add to this plane and add a larger sphere. Then the space-time around the sphere will be distorted. The distorted space-time will accelerate two neighboring objects and eventually collide. That's what we call gravity. In addition to this, in addition to that, the warping of space-time can change the path of a sphere, even the path of light, and even the path of light will be altered. Above the escape velocity will follow an unbounded orbit. Spheres moving below escape velocity below escape velocity will follow elliptical orbits just like our Earth between our Earth and the Sun. And a sphere moving in a minimal orbit will follow circular orbits like the Earth and the Moon. And any object with mass will cause the space-time around it to change. The more mass an object has, the greater the mass of the object, the more space-time warps around it. When two objects with the same mass accelerate in motion, of the same mass, the gravitational forces around them will overlap, and space-time rises and falls, trembling waves. This disturbance in space-time will propagate outward in the form of ripples. That's called a gravitational wave. If there's a large surge of dark energy in the universe, in the universe it would cause objects and repel them. The dark energy also pushes the expansion rate of the universe. All that motion all came from the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, started out as just a few random motions, as large objects formed. That drew these irregular objects and collided with each other. And collided with each other, creating a pattern of motion, eventually they all traveled in a counterclockwise pattern.